Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisy Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm a part-time reseller and a stay-at-home mom. This week's unboxing is going to be from Goodwill Blue Box and we have a box from South Hackensack, New Jersey and I will be doing this box in two parts. I had vein surgery this week so I cannot sit down for long periods of time without elevating my leg but I could not resist doing an unboxing especially when it comes from New New Jersey. I haven't had from New Jersey in a while, but if you watch my channel, New Jersey is one of my favorite places to get from. So we are going to be doing a little shorter of an unboxing this week. Let's bag out and do a little first look. I'm seeing a lot of color, maybe some mother of pearl in there. We will go ahead and dive into this. If you are new to this channel, please be sure to check out my Poshmark and my Etsy shops. If you're interested in any of these pieces, you can also check out my email. All of that information is gonna be down in the description below. And let's see what we have. Looks like we have a lot of chains this week. And I don't mind some chains if, if they're some precious metals. We have our first earring. This looks like a typical costume earring. We'll start an earring pile. Same with that one. I would love if you guys could check out my shorts videos. I always enjoy hearing from you guys and hearing the information you guys have to share. So please leave a comment. And first up, it looks like we have a nice costume necklace maybe some gold plating and it is magnetic so we're not going to be looking at any silver but this uh, plating looks pretty good and i like the design so i've so i will do this one so i will do this one for five dollars i love this beaded bracelet look how cool this is loving that very cool. I love the beadwork and always love these bangles, especially if they have some cooler look to them. I will do this one for $5 as well. If you would like to hold some of your pieces due to shipping costs have risen a little bit. So if you want me to hold on to some of the pieces, I will be holding them for up to two weeks. You guys just shoot me an email and let me know and I will start a little pile for you and send you over an invoice. All right, this looks like some glass beads to me. It's not really reading glass, but they feel glass to me. I'll do that one for $2. Usually New Jersey has some awesome pieces. So I was really looking forward to this box. I couldn't resist. My husband was like, you need to take a break, but... I just, I can't resist. I love New Jersey boxes. They're one of my favorites. If you watch my channel, you know. You know these are one of my favorite boxes. All right, we have a statement necklace here. I can't seem to get it untwisted. Maybe it's all the way twisted. Looks to be in pretty good condition. I like the colors. I always get a lot of colors from New Jersey. I don't see any marks on there. No maker's marks, but all the beadwork Seems to be intact. I really like the tassels down here. And I will do this one for $8. All right, we have a stretch band ADP bracelet. I'm gonna put that in a lot. If you're interested in any of those lot pieces, I will be putting those back in a mystery lot box. You can check those out on my pages. And if you're interested in a piece, you can email me turtle ring and no named earring there. I like this turtle ring. It looks coated to me. It's kind of got some of those raised bubbles. It's not magnetic, but it's definitely giving me like a silver plated look. It's got some of those ridges on there as well. So I will have to do some further acid testing on this one, but I'm pretty sure I see some bubbles on there. Very cute ring. If you're interested in that one, I will do it for $2. 
looks like we might have a mark maybe on this earring all right no mark on that side looks like it's just some some scratches on that plating as well add it to the earring pile oh look at this moon it looks like it might say silver looks like we are going to have lots of tangles you usually don't get too many tangles from new jersey but if it's a good box i don't mind some more earrings too i like this moon though Let's say it's got that 925 mark maybe yep 925 the moon is really cute that gold tone on it some of the gold looks to be wearing off just a little bit but this is an item i will google image search to see if anything pulls up if you're new to reselling i would definitely get that google lens app it is extremely helpful you can also talk to dr Lori. she's one of my favorite people to reach out to to get more information from looks like that's going to have a 925 mark on it and another 925 sterling silver mark here italy so that is great i love that necklace i'm very much like nature obviously i love to recycle i love nature the moon the stars so this is right up my alley i will do this one for 18. gorgeous you are always going to find your best pricing for these pieces on my youtube channel i will have to raise prices when i list on my shops little stretch band bracelet that one will probably go to my niece or my daughter always encourage you guys to share with your little ones my little ones love jewelry and i love sharing with them this is giving me a silver look and this it's almost it's interesting because these gemstones look almost different than the ones down here at the bottom like these are more giving me like a Swarovski look and these are giving me more of like a like costume jewels okay, no reading on that one it's always better to lay them down on the table to test with the presidium I'm not getting much of a reading on either one of these but the the stones again just look better at the top than they do down here at the bottom Let's hope for a match. I don't see any markings on it, but lovely. Got some earrings here, little jeweled earrings. No markings on these. Let's check with the magnet. They are magnetic, but love that they are matched together. So if you're interested, I will do those for two. I like the jewels in here and this really pretty wire wrap design. Last week we had the pleasure of going to the gem and mineral show here in the CSRA. I live in Georgia in the CSRA area and they have a couple of gem shows every, every year. We were lucky enough to go to that one this year and they had a wire wrap class going on and my son got to make a ring. It was a lot of fun. Always enjoy learning new things. All right, I like that. Did we check it with a magnet? Doesn't feel magnetic. Again, I don't see any markings on it though. Lovely stone. Stretch bracelet. Gonna add that to my pile for the girls and the boys. Banana Republic clasp here. See if we can find out where that goes to. All right, what does this one say? Almost looks like a maybe HH combined. I don't know if that's maybe, I don't know if that's House of Harlow. It's almost got like an eight in there. Yeah, I'm not sure. But a lovely jeweled necklace. Love the gold tones. Almost a rosy gold. And looks to be in good condition. 
All righty, still staying pretty low on there. I will do this one for $8. Another one giving me a silver look. I like that it has a little I was thinking maybe that was marcasite. It's not magnetic. Okay. Don't see any markings on there. Pretty set of earrings. I like them. Another set already. I cannot complain. Oh, if I can get them back together. We got our first little tangle here. Well, I'll do this one for $5 lovely butterfly all right it looks like i have a couple rings here they're all looking about the same as that other one i see some of the bubbling on there definitely giving me a lot of that costume look so i'm going to just pile all those rings up together sometimes i sell rings in sets those costume rings Sometimes I sell them separately. Lovely sparkle on that one. I love this like chain link look. Not magnetic, could possibly be silver. Okay, this is some Napier. The coating does not look too good on that one. So I will think about this one. On the rest of the necklace, it looks fairly decent. There does look like maybe some bent metal there. Might need to go through this one and see if it's worth reselling. Could be a vintage piece. So I will have to do a little bit of research on that one. Let's look at this one. I really like the beadwork on here. Loving those earthy greens. And we got a tag. What do we say? Born Again Beads. I want to say I've had that brand before. I really like those stones. Maybe some like dyed quartz. Very pretty. I'll do that for $8. I got some gunmetal gray earring here with some fuzz. Put that to the earring pile. Oh, look at that with the owl and the pearl. And the lovely tree. I don't think that backing goes with that. But very cute. And that would be easy to turn into a pendant. So if you have a single earring that you love, look it over. You might might be able to change that over. Turn it into a necklace. Okay, we have 925 Thailand drop earring. Gorgeous. Let's hope for the set for that one. More of these rings. Looks to be all that same silver toned coating with those plastic jewels in there lovely sets though i love the princess one i love these little crown looks to them so again we're starting we're starting a pretty big pile of rings here they all look the, about the same though that same design okay here we go here's the hook be sure to look at those earrings all over because they can have those 925 marks in different spots. But this one is not giving me that 925 look. Lovely. I will add it to the earring pile. My costume. I'm going to put that one in the earring pile. I like this one.
Okay, Avon. It's definitely giving me an Avon look. It could be from a different earring, that backing, of course, but a little Google search will pull this up as well. Lovely pink stones. All right, we have a match to the gunmetal gray. It is bent, so I'll see if I can fix it. All right, this is interesting. So are we have some tassels on this cuff bracelet. Okay, let's let's try it on. All right, I don't know if I could pull this off, but my kids would be thoroughly amused if I wore this. It's cool. It's different. Definitely different. It's definitely a cool look. I like it. You could almost like do some on one side, do some on the other. I've never had one with these tassels like this before, but I like it. I always like a different look. I will do this one for $10. I'm thinking about maybe doing a live show on here too, maybe doing a live sale with you guys. I have to arrange it around my husband's schedule because he would have to assist me, but you guys let me know what you think. I've gotten access to doing live shows on Poshmark as well, so how do you guys feel about the live Poshmark shows? I know some people love them, some people do not like them, so you guys let me know what you think. I think it would be a little bit more fun. You guys could interact with me while I do an unboxing. I think it's always fun to do shows with you guys. Loving the star necklace. I'll do this one for $8. More rings. Lots of rings. Let's see if I can find any more. Going to that ring pile. All right, looks like we found another match with that other purple one. I just had somebody buy a purple box. Too bad I didn't have this box yet. I could have added some of those in. All right, we have a beautiful little locket. I see that marking on there. 14 karat PPC. I want to say that's pretty something. I'll have to look up the brand, but I'm pretty sure I've had that brand before, and I'm pretty sure maybe that is gold. It says 14K, so let's, let's do an acid test. Always want to scratch in an area that might not be seen as much, so try and do a scratch on that backside rather than on that front gorgeous little design. It says 14K, so we'll do, we'll do 14K. Let's see. All right, it looks like we're going to be passing that, if I can get the bubble out of the way. There we go. Looks like we are passing that 14K test. See that there? So that's awesome. Right off the bat there, we're going to have some 14 karat. Looks like white gold with that, with that brand. I'll put it in here when I do the edit on this video. But yay, how awesome. Lovely locket. Lockets always sell really well. And of course, New Jersey never disappoints with awesome pieces. Okay, earring, more earrings, lots of earrings today. I love the design on this drop earring. I don't think we had a match for this one yet. 925LA. You guys know what that LA stamp is, let me know. I usually, I think the CH ones are China. So, cool, a lovely earring. It looks like maybe a match. I don't think that was a match to the other one, but another hammered metal look. We have a dragonfly. It's fairly tarnished on that side. Not too bad on this side, but definitely still has some wear on it. Okay, another one of those costume pieces. I'm most likely going to put that one in a lot if I don't give it to my niece or my daughter. Loving this gold. Almost gives me a tiger's eye look, but not quite tiger's eye. It is magnetic, but lovely gold tone there. 
Okay, this is cool. Oh, I love glass. Looks like glass to me. Let's see if we have a silver chain here. I don't think I see any markings on this one. Okay, lovely pendant there. Gonna be low again in that glass range. Very cool. That would be really pretty when the sunlight hits. Let me check, did I check the chain? Okay, the chain is magnetic. I could add in a silver chain if you'd prefer a silver chain. And that will add to the expense a little bit. I will do this one for $10. Okay, gold, cool. silver plated Robarellis earring. I love these little baby hoops. They bring me back to my childhood. I was always in some of these little baby hoops. Maybe I'll give these purple ones to my girl. I haven't quite put her in these bigger hoops yet. She's still fairly small and I'm always scared she's gonna rip them out. Oh, I love this. This is right up my alley. I love little dainty bracelets like this. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I saw a silver mark on there. Yep, 925. I love New Jersey. It's my favorite. I think New Jersey and California are always like my best boxes. I've only gotten one box from California, but I'll take it. It's a little tight on me. Be It would be a snug bracelet, so we'll see. I have fairly small wrists, but... See if I can make it work. I love the design, how pretty. So if I don't keep it for myself, and if you're interested in it, I will do this one for 18. Love that design on there. All right, same matches that other smaller earring that we found. Gotta adjust a little bit. All right, let's check with the magnet. All right, we got another magnetic one. So not silver, I will do this one for $5. Okay, I don't think I see any marks on there. Looks like it's got a chip in it, or maybe that's just where it came out of the mold. Look at this earring. Another one that I think probably has some gold plating on there. I see some of the ridges and marks on it. Pretty though. Another pretty drop necklace. It is magnetic. I'll do this one for five dollars i love the green beads on it. it reminds me of my mom my mom would definitely love something like that my mom just started a new etsy business where she'll be having some digital prints so if you guys are interested in any of those prints be sure to email me and i will send you a link to her shop she has some really awesome designs And I would love if you guys could check her out, show some support. All right, looks like we're missing a stone and a couple of these, but I like that bracelet. Again, with that, that um, chain link design. I don't know what that's called. If you guys know what that's called, let me know. It is a little bit magnetic. Oh, another... FAS and the 925 Italy. Oh, this is gorgeous. So pretty, so shiny, lovely, shiny silver there. Gorgeous. So we have on the smaller end as well. Stretchy bracelet. I don't have much of a lot pile so far. Costume earring, costume. Wow, 
Lots of earrings from New Jersey today. All right. Oh, look at this. All right, looks like we have a match to that other one. I love that. The marcasite. It's not magnetic. Beautiful. No marking. That one's missing a stone. So it will most likely end up back in a lot. Very shiny earring. Earrings like this always are awesome for resell. Okay. All right, cool. So we found that other one from Avon. Yay. I'll do those for $5. All right, looks like we got that coated pearl there. I'm going to put this one in a lot. Another gold tone earring. Lovely drop earring. Really pretty with that creamy enamel look. Okay. This looks fairly nice, but again, I can tell this is going to be a costume piece, most likely with those little ridges on there. Let's test it. Yeah. All right, let's get our Next handful here. I can get it untangled. <laughs> it did bring some tangles today, but I don't mind. We found already found some gold and have found a handful of silver, so no complaints from me. All right. Let's go through this one. All right, I have already either I have this one or I've already sold this one. So it's definitely a good piece for resale, giving me that Victorian era look with those Art Deco designs. Love that Art Deco. Love the shapes and the color of this one. I'm gonna say this is the exact same one that I sold. It's got a little extender on there, so that's always nice. And I'll do this one for $5. All right. Oh, look at that. Looks like we're reading in that lower end. Say this looks, you know, a little silver, but does have some of those ridges on it. Let's check it with a magnet. It is magnetic, but another Aurora Borealis type beadwork here. Gorgeous. Give me that chandelier type look too with the top here and the drop down below. Stunning. Another costume piece, fun, stretchy bracelet for the little ones. Sometimes I add those to jewelry jars as well. All right, we have a Brighton here. This is a very elegant Brighton piece. I love that they do the little details even on the, on the O-ring there. Always love the extra mile they tend to take with that shell necklace so lovely brighton i will do that one for twelve dollars oh we have a match to the other one yay so i will do those for seven dollars all right we got a vintage looking maybe 
Monet, of course, with that lovely clasp, one of my favorite clasps. It's funny the things that you get attached to or like with jewelry, especially if you do this all the time. It's the little details that, that matter the most. I'm definitely thinking this is a vintage, giving me maybe like a 70s vibe. I will do this one for $10. These always sell really well. So if you find those, be sure to try and resell them. They are usually awesome for resell. Adding to that ring pile. And we found the match to that gorgeous to that gorgeous costume piece. I will do these for $12. All right, I don't see any marks on these, and I did find the match to that one. So another awesome matching pair. Ooh, this is cool. Another Art Deco look. Looks like maybe it's missing a couple stones though, unfortunately. So I will be putting this one in a lot, most likely. I like that star back there. Let's check it with a magnet. Oh, not really magnetic. I'm gonna put it in a lot. Another fun stretchy stretchy band here. Okay, we're tangled up in this big guy. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful that is. This is definitely giving me a sterling look. Let's check it. All right, big bold 925 there. What does this say? Let's see, maybe it says Mexico, maybe? Looks like the X is maybe just missing a little piece there. It's got some kind of, I want to say it says Mexico. Gorgeous. This is this is like a lot of silver too. Needs needs a little bit of cleaning, but gorgeous. Love these almost like onyx looking inlays here. Very cool. Wow, this is stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Another of that Art Deco look. Victorian, almost giving me like a gothy vibe with the black inlay in there. Gorgeous piece. I will have to do some research on this one and see if I can find some information, but stunning. Oh, we got a bangle. This is nice. Okay, what does it say? You're awesome. Keep that <laughs> SHIT up. Lovely. I could use this. I could use this bracelet. <laughs> Sometimes the little encouragement goes a long way. I will do this one for $8. Hi, baby. Daddy's downstairs. Do you want to go downstairs and see him? Okay. Or do you want to lay in my bed? Okay. Well, you'll have to walk down yourself, okay? Or you can wait in my bed. Little princess just woke up from her sweet little nap. All right, we got another heart earring. Not seeing any markings on that one. Ooh, this will be cool if it's if it's silver. I still like it even if it's not silver. Got a lot of that meshy chain link look today. It's definitely a vibe going on. I feel like it's a little bit magnetic. Yeah, a little bit magnetic there. I like it though. It almost gives me like aluminum look. But I don't think aluminum's magnetic, is it? All right, I will do this one for $5. I have a tangle in here with this costume necklace. I like this one, if I can get it laid out. Of course, we have an earring attached that doesn't seem like it's gonna wanna let go without a fight. So, I'll, oh, okay, there we go. That was a lot easier than I was making it look. 
All right, we'll put that in the pile. We got a pretty good earring pile here. All right, well, the beadwork looks to be good on here. I'll do this one for $3. Aurora Borellis is the other theme of the day. I'm not sure what this, it almost looks like an S maybe. Oh, okay, here we go. Odd. I'll do it. I'll do it. Jewels with an I too. Hmm. Interesting. I haven't heard of that one before. All right. Magnetic, but I love the three hearts on there. How gorgeous. Looks like most of the stones are there, if not all of them. I'll do that one for $8. It looks like that was the one that had the missing stone in it. So it does have a match, but it is missing a stone. See if we can find it at the bottom and glue it back in. What do we have going on here? Avon. Lovely Avon. Maybe a vintage piece. What do you guys think? It does have some wear on the plating. So I'll do this one for $5. I like the beadwork though. Okay, is this one another Avon, it looks like, maybe? SP, so yeah, that's a that's Avon. I love the little drop details in there, really cute. I'll do this one for $10. Some of those are vintage pieces, so you gotta keep that in mind. All right, are we broken? What's going on here? Okay, it looks like maybe that's just an extension there. Or maybe it is broken. Hmm, okay. I will do this one for $3. Yep, Spinel or Spidel. I was saying that right. Wrong. Spadel. USA. Awesome. Another cool piece. And Vincent is a fairly like common name, I feel like. I feel like I've definitely heard a couple Vincents, so it might be worth, worth a resell. Earring. Another earring. All right, guys. I'm going to grab just one more, maybe one more pile so I can get it out. And I'm going to have to give my leg a break, so I will take a break after this one. Got to go elevate that leg. I can't have it down for too long, so doctor's orders this week. But I look forward to continuing this unboxing next week. And I'm hoping to do the giveaway next week. I was going to do it this week, but of course some, some things came up and um, I wasn't able to do it, but... Always love doing those giveaways with you guys, and I look forward to them each month. I always appreciate the knowledge you guys share on this channel and the love you guys share on this channel. You guys are probably the nicest people I have ever met, and I always look forward to your comments and to our Saturday morning chats. Let's see if this is magnetic. I like the flower look. It does feel magnetic. I like this draping flower. I'll do this one for $2. We've got a giant cross here. Let's see. Stainless steel. Shefford, England, I think that's what it says. Sheffield, England. Or Eng... Is that it? Yeah, I think that says England. It's, it's kind of cut off over here, so. Not the greatest stamp there. All right. We'll see about that one. All right, and lastly is this pretty necklace. I wanted to look at. It is super tangled. But it is pretty. Let's see if I can find the clasp. All right, there it is. Okay, so it's a layered necklace. I like the little jewels on it. 
Another 925 piece. What is the other marking? 925 in. That's Tessie's tiny little jewels in there. It looks like it's reading glass. All right, gorgeous silver piece. I will do that one for, I'll do that one for $12. All right, guys. So New Jersey, of course, did not disappoint. I look forward to continuing this unboxing with you guys next week. Hopefully we continue to find some more silver, maybe some more gold. Let's uh, hope for the best. New Jersey always delivers. I appreciate all of your guys' support. Be sure to check out my shorts videos. And until next time.